till in 2013 two Iranian F-4 Phantoms attempted to intercept a drone escorted by two F-22 Raptors. Due to having a bumblebee-sized radar cross-section, an F-22 was able to fly underneath an F-4 to see its weapons without it noticing then flew next to the F-4 and radioed you really ought to go home. It was a more succinct statement as is worthy of a USAF pilot than Dylan's statement to Earth Force and Babylon 5 season of dreams although I still love her badassery. Dylan this is Ambassador Dylan of the Minbari. Babylon 5 is under our protection. Withdraw or be destroyed. Earth Force negative. We have authority here. Do not force us to engage your ship. Dylan why not? Only one human captain has ever survived battle with a Minbari fleet. He is behind me. You are in front of me. If you value your lives, be somewhere else? Question for people that know about this stuff how do you measure the quality of an aircraft? Could the F-4 ever take down an F-22, if the F-4 pilot was way better? If that's not possible, what about multiple F-4s? How much IR and spending goes into new generations of aircraft, and is there an argument that more, lower quality would be better than fewer, higher quality? Time and technology march on. The F-4 was a great plane in its time. It first hindered service about 1959. The one sold to Iran in the 60s and 70s have not likely had anything in the way of major upgrades due to US sanctions. It's amazing Iran can even keep them basically serviceable. If they still do. In this context what does bumblebee sized radar cross section mean? Were they able to visually see the drone? How far do the F-22s fly away from the drone? And how close did they get to the underside of the F-4 to visually see its weapons? Sorry about my ignorance on the subject. Classic Americans you should go home yet yeah, they're at the Iranian border. Such a heightened sense of self-importance and arrogance. The complete moronic lack of introspection to say that when they're the ones thousands of miles from home in a foreign land. The Russians and Chinese claim to have fifth generation stealth fighters but it's just typical bluster. Their technology is still decades behind. China still hasn't figured out its engines yet. Russia just designs prototypes that work in theory only. For those of you interested in other US Iranian military hijinks let me recommend the fat electrician's latest video on 1988's Operation Praying Mantis. NSFW due to language. Video is about 20 minutes. Can someone explain what the bumblebee sized radar cross section is and how that means a whole plane can fly there without it being noticed? Surely if it's the size of a bee it means anything bigger gets picked up? People genuinely have no idea how much more advanced American air superiority is to literally everyone else. The stuff the public aren't allowed to see would very likely feel like science fiction at this point. This happened in 2012, and the F-22 was first rolled out in 1997 and formally entered service in 2005. So it's several decades old design. Imagine what else is in the pipeline that we don't know about yet. F-4 Phantoms were Korean War air relics that were outclassed by MiG-21s during the Vietnam War. This was more than 50 years ago I can only imagine how embarrassed they feel by pilots in modern fighter jets. I call bullshit. What in the world would an F-22 drive or even look for to find an F-4? In a clear blue sky? S. Dude, I'm not positive, but you might be on fire. Points at smoke trail. It probably felt something like this, but this is from an Su-27 instead. The rear view mirrors come in handy. And this is what happens when you have a $800 billion dollar defense budget. Imagine what we could accomplish if we spent that on NASA instead. What? Some planes were playing a game about who could see each other? How was the drone involved again? Is seeing the weapons relevant? Telling the Iranian F-4 flying in Iran to go home. You cannot challenge a foreign drone pushing your airspace. Aren't we big and tough? And we're so cool about it. Do we really need more military propaganda in here? Till US sold F-4S to Iran. How the hell are they maintaining jets built in the 60s 70s? With that sanction, F-22 came at the wrong time unfortunately. Just imagine 700 of them. Drones are the future and it's here. F-4 Phantoms were outstanding planes in their time, but there isn't much that can hold a candle to an F-22. And this is why the US markets the F-35 to allies and not the F-22. It's in a class all to its own. Boy the title left me confused. I read it as the F-4 was being escorted by the F-22s. Communicating, keeping up with foreign relations. You know, giving him the bird. Dumb question but would it not look odd to see a bee going Mach 2 at 40k feet? Man no wonder the government doesn't want to sell the F-22 to other countries. Stuff like this is why the US military keeps such a high budget.
BDW. Hope it doesn't look like this took place anywhere near America. This plane is so fucking good but sadly won't last much longer. On a good old F-22. Such a fascinating piece of engineering. F-22 look what they need to mimic a fraction of our power. He should've spray painted a dick on them before leaving. It's like trying to fight marines with a flintlock musket. I read about this a few days ago. What an epic story. Reverse engineered WAP technology will do that to you. Cool. Can we have universal healthcare now? Please.